program have a special salute this morning. These programs don't just happen. There's a lot of work that goes into it. The kids practice hard, but there has to be somebody to organize them. And if you don't think there's work in it, come and watch it practice. You will appreciate what, what the program this morning. But Jeannie Creel, she is she doesn't have a lot of time to work with these kids. It, it's not that she has more time than anybody else. She has a daycare that she runs during the day. She works out of the home sometimes. She's very involved with her schools and her kids' activities in schools. And she still has time to put on these programs. And she works hard at it. And this is for the times that we forgot to tell her thank you. And we appreciate it. Amen.
Yeah, I know. 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 Yeah, contract over. I said, you know, I have to read that contract no. over. I said, uh, I'm not real sure that I'm going to understand it. I said, the main thing I'm interested in is you. I'm doing business with you. And if you cannot tell me the truth, and you cannot tell me if this is a good contract, I said, I have no problem. But, you know, to unravel a contract, oftentimes, uh, you just, uh, you, you have difficulty on trying to unravel a uh, contract. People write up contract contracts, sometimes it's six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen pages long. And uh, you, uh, you can decipher that contract, sometimes it gets ambiguous. You have to understand, well, what does it mean? Well, if I can, uh, if I can have confidence in the man I'm doing business with, I said, uh, I'm trusting you as soul man. Sometimes they get to the point and place where uh, they go to crying for help. Uh, they, they cry out, someone, someone help me. Someone tell me what's wrong. Because there's, a, there's, a, there's an element in human beings that they, they, uh, they get so taken up in the world that they never know what to do. They, they get dissatisfied. They, they go up here and there trying to seek out something somewhere. And they find no satisfaction. And only if, if you can walk with them and realize that need, only if you could just realize that they're desperate. Sometimes they're, 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 they're next to just death. Could you realize that, that that soul is really a need? So walking with humanity, walking with a friend, Walking with a neighbor, uh, there's times that you can you can get to the point that you you recognize that, that neighbor uh, won't put that yoke, so to speak, will be a saint of God and to influence people. You, uh, you just got to build and create a good attitude and a, and a spiritual good godly and spiritual well back in order to influence people. That doesn't mean that you got to be sarcastic and rude to people. So it is, my friend. A new commandment, according to John 13, 
34 and 35, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. As I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. And friend, we are going to learn to love one another. You may have me a Matthew Paul. Something that I don't like. Does that mean that I keep loving you? I've never heard it. You see? Now, if there's some things about you that I don't like, well, uh, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Because we got to learn to get along one with another. You can't do that. You can't do that. You have to get over that. Brian? <laughs> Brian? Yes, Jim. Yes, Jim.